So this is stump five. I've um, got a crack on that side, but I like that flat spot right there for the door. You know, you don't typically get a good flat spot. And so I like that. There's a flat spot on this side, but I don't ever specifically see this side. Um, there's the, the rest of the house. So when I come down, I come from that direction. So the door here means I would never see the door. You know. Um, that direction, I don't like it. It's all ridgy. Um, I also don't, again, come in from this direction. If I come from the back of the house, you know, this is, again, the back side of the property. So I think my flat spot right there is the right place for the door. Windows on either side. Um, that way he's not specifically looking at his neighbors at his front door, but he can peep out his window and see what they're up to, see if there's a party going on. Um, say so stump number one is up around the house. You can't see him. Stump number two is, is right there. You know? Still hanging out, looking good. Um, stump number three. Stump number four. Stump five. Stump six is, again, behind the gas. So, anyway, I'm going to get to work. I'll talk to you in a few. So I'm going to see if I can remember to do a little show and tell. So, uh, first thing I do is, is kind of mark the wood, and if you look there at the bottom, you can see the little black line, that's the Sharpie, and then you can also see where I started to chisel the square. Um, and once I get the square itself chiseled, then I come in from the top and chisel my way down. The goal is to remove the bark, but not necessarily remove the wood. Um, and that way the door fits just inside the bark, so it looks like it's framed by the bark itself. Um, and you can see so far where, again, I'm taking off bark right down to the wood level. And, and then the further that lets the, the nails that hold the door in place actually go into the wood, not through the bark. So it's just the first step in the process. Thought I'd let you see it. And I'll talk at you again. And yes, it is really awesome. When you've done your little groove all the way around and the square wants to come out whole you can kind of see it when i move it that i'm going to get nothing but bark i just got to make sure i don't rip the bottom so i like a good cut like this anyway makes life easy so see you in a few so as you can see it's a really good square it came out, tore a little, there it is, tore a little right there, but that the bark right there will gray back up. Sorry, there's the piece. Like I said, he came out really well. Um, and then this piece here is from the center, and what it is is because it's round, you know, and it's got a curve. When you're trying to put a flat window in there, you take off that center curve and the window sets flat in the bark. Kind of cool that way. So let me get this window centered and set in and see in a few seconds or a few minutes. So there's the hole for window number two. Kind of see the doors down over there. Window number one's over on the other side. Um, same thing. Um, get the bark cut out. We came out in four pieces. And then, you know, you can place the window in. I know it slides down because I don't have it secured yet. But there's the window. It'll be secured here in just a second. And, uh, yeah. In a minute and I'll show you the entire stump. So stump number five, um, I think it came out great. 
Um, I tried to work him since I see him from when I do see him. Again, he's the, I see him the least amount, but I see him from two different directions. If I'm coming from the pump house or the compost pile, um, this is kind of the direction that I come from. So you get to see the door and the window and his centerpiece, little fairy, hanging out on the top. Um, you know, and then if you move, if I come around from the front door or the, the burn pit, um, then you see this side of the stump. Same thing, you get to see the front door, the window, and this little fairy thingy hanging up across the top. And yeah, overall I think he came out great. Um, stump number five. And um, if you look at him kind of head on right about there, you know, then you know he's got two windows and, and life is good. Um, so again, the only stump that's left is the one that's back behind the container. It's noon, I'm hungry, a little sweaty, so I'm gonna go take a shower, eat some lunch, clean up my mess. I was using the ice chest as a sitting place. Worked out well. Um, but yeah, life is good. So I will talk at you later.